Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in the next episode. This time we will just go on with our priority assignment, Faith Undone. Alright, the Braving. On one hand it's a bunker busting mission, quite nice on a outside city map. Like it, like it, like it so far. Alright, subject again, heretical dogma, location outpost L LH. 1112 decommissioned. We have learned that the heretical teachings are broadcast by unsanctioned walk stationed. We've triangulated the message to a decommissioned military complex manned by a defected Astro Militarium detachment. Airstrikes have failed to destroy the walk towers due to strong battery activity. Orders assault the complex and dismantle its defensive grid. Objectives a strategic enemy strong but protected by anti air batteries must be deactivated. Once all anti air batteries are down, the airstrike can be called upon the bunker. Deactivate all anti air batteries, call on an airstrike on the bunker. We have a tough nut to crack. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter-battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expurgation, while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. Will do. Bunker busting missions are of course missions I really like, enjoy them. They came back in the day with the full release I think, or shortly um, before the full release with the better version um like it all um though um we are not often enough playing bunker busting missions i think but in the end they are fun because you know they are just something different to the normal purge or war gate mission um that is what i enjoy with this game I, I i know with this game you can say many many bad things you can say many many good things and um that is one thing i enjoy about this game it is its diversity and um the diversity of course is set with the different kind of missions um what you of course might say the biggest difference to for example Di um, diablo 3 is that you don't necessarily have a quest um, and you know some story told like you know kill monster A, kill monster B in the end you have certain amount of missions and that with a little bit of a story whether it is enough or not um, I'm not going to get into but in the end um, you have different styles of missions and that is what I really like on the one hand pleasing for the eye this um, change of scenery every time and all the good jazz anyhow that's not something i actually wanted to get into but anyhow sometimes that is just what happens so there you see why i enjoy the shotgun okay suppression slowly slowly building up again nice Let's then deactivate the mortar, if we can. I've overseen this guy, I don't know how that happened. Less to worry about. Keep going. But I've just overseen him. Shame on me, shame on me. And there we've seen the danger a grenade launcher actually poses. Once you have um, lost all your suppression resistance, these guys can knock you back, knock you down, and then you are in a world of hurt, so to say. And that is the very bad part about losing suppression rating. As you um, know, we are on a equal power rating. What I mean by that is, of course, that the mission power rating equals our power rating, which means um, the enemy or we don't have a buff debuff on it. But what you can see is how fast we are losing our power rating or our um, suppression resistance and that is really weird not weird but there we see how fast that actually can happen so we have another bigger enemy here a stranded Valkyr of like the optics of course of that flyer
Alright, Rebel Sergeant down in a sec. Well, nice. A Graf Gun. Maybe we have the next upgrade. Although, I don't want to lose my little Relic Plasma gun by now. So, Balgrin is gone. Nice. And then I'll end these guys here. Oh, come on. How many are there? I did not expect that. So, one shotgun shot there is luckily enough for all of them. Alright, they are gone. Nice. So, two more anti-air guns remaining and then the nice little bunker will be opened up like a can. Come on. So that of course was a weird combination, the Rebel Sergeant there, which on the one hand um, has a lot of HP, plus his plasma gun and then being engaged, uh, engaged by two or three Ogrins, that is very, very not good for us. So this guy is gone, dropped an auto pistol, well, probably not going to use it, but anyhow. So all the soldiers then are gone us. Due to the weapon supply picked up. Reloading I will do after rot, after we have um, um, deactivated it. Hostile unit down. Rinse and repeat. In the name of the Emperor, of course. Alright, so one more bunker remains. One more bunker I will take care of. Alright, these are gone. On we go, on we go. And I, of course, will... Not of course, but I will take care of the Guardsmen at first. And afterwards, take care of those nasty guys here. Nice critical hits. Always nice to see that sometimes critical hits are being done. And then, of course, it is quite easy for you to kill the enemies. Or, you know, it, so to say, goes quicker then. So that one is gone. So one more. Oh, oh, nice. A couple of guys still remain, as you see. Recoil on clean. And then, oh, there's even a chest which I, of course, will pick up. Where is the chest? Is the precise question. You did a short work of that one, Inquisitor, but there is more. All right, okay. Good that we fought ourselves already through this way, so we can now um, swiftly, slowly get to the bunker and kill it off with no problem at all. And the Balgrin there, I'm going to take down anyhow. So that was quick, didn't ex <laughs> expect it to go down that quickly, fair enough. So they are following us, I currently don't care. Let them follow us, they are no, they are no threat to us whatsoever. Just a preemptive reload here. Going to take the shield up, why not? And pushing out everything we have because this is somehow of the last stand of the enemy. They are gone, one guy remains, not anymore. So they are gone. Oh, hello. Alright, now we can bust the bunker the last time.
task for this mission. Then we can teleport back to our ship and take a look at the items we have received. You are still alive and more or less in one piece. That's a success, I guess. Initiating exfiltration rituals. Thank you very much, madam. So, another mission done. Um, not the hardest mission, but oh, I love the imperial design. You've got to love this all. The macro cannons right here. Ah, wonderful ships. Wonderful ships. All right. A little bit of um, experience here. Nice, nice, nice. All right, continue. And the debriefing, the resistance seen at the purge site clearly demonstrates the wild nature of the heresy more than enough to steal the resolve of any auto agent. Operation successful, binary and material evidence clearly indicates that the teachings originate from a self proclaimed under high um, profit. Okay, guys, then we take a quick look into the items we have received and as you see um there is no surprise no upgrade at all but that is just all right guys that in the end brings us to the end of this episode and you know it i really thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this episode guys then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye